A new AI video model, one 2.5, just dropped. We're gonna go through some examples of what it can do, how it stacks up against Google's VO3, or VO3, where we can try it in a free playground, and then we'll wire it up with NA10 and Airtable to have generated videos on demand. Like, if you've never heard of the WAN line of video AI models, WAN 2.5 is probably, as you guessed, not the first one. On GitHub, you can find WAN 2.2, which has 9.5K stars, and WAN 2.1, which has 14.3K stars, stars and one 2.2 is actively being maintained as of just a couple weeks ago. You are able to use it through their website, which we'll go to, or other various providers that are allowing us to use it for, I think, at a better deal. So here's the website, wanai.co, and here is their new version, WAN 2.5, an AI video and audio generation with frame sync. Okay, there are a couple things with this that I believe are better. So we're gonna just go through an example of this real quick. We'll go through an example of the N8N workflow, and then we'll go through how we can use it with another provider. So if you sign up on their website, you literally get seven credits a let's see a 720p video for five seconds from text to video is five of those credits and one of the things you may notice is the duration here so value three allows eight second videos here with one 2.5 you get five second or 10 second videos and it is better when it comes to multilingual and accent friendly so one of the things with one 2.5 is the audio portion that is a lot better than value three so for instance here is a prompt or here is where the speaker is not supposed to sound American. So let's go, let's look at Veo 3s first. Good evening, everyone. Can I have a bottle of water? Okay, so now let's look at Juan 2.5. Good evening, everyone. Can I have a bottle of water? The difference was that Juan 2.5 was actually the audio is supposed to reference the language and accents that it was being asked to, um, asked to, asked to portray. So here's how it works. You can write your prompt. You can upload optional audio. This means voice tracks, sound effects, and music to help with, it's gonna help guide lip syncing and the pacing of the video. So for instance, in Love and Labs, you could create your own sound effects. You could create your own voice. You have like an MP3 generated, and then you could upload that here as well to help with your audio. And you really, and you couldn't do that. You really can't unless yet with Veo 3. So here are a couple more use cases. History teaches us more than just facts. It shows us who we are. Welcome to today's interview. We're going to explore how AI is changing our daily lives. Yo, one, two, I just dropped on wave speed AI. Sound and texture are next level. Try it right now. Okay, so it, pretty awesome. Um, I got to say, so let's go ahead and look at what we are going to be generating today. And by the way, all of this is going to be available for free in my school community. You can join in the link description below. Okay, so here basically we are searching through the latest record in Airtable that lets us know that we are ready to create a new video and we'll go over what it is in Airtable. So we're going to be using, I think, Kai. Uh, it, it's, it's spelled K-I-E, so that reminds me of Pi. So I'm going to say Kai, maybe Kia, I'm not sure, but Kai AI, which we're going to go over, is the API we're going to be using to make this happen. So it's, how it works is you start creating, you create a task. If that was successfully created, then we're going to, we're going to update Airtable and we're just going to check for the task of whenever it is eventually complete. And once that's complete, it's going to give us a URL that to download, we're going to upload to Google Drive and then, you know, successfully save that in the Airtable record. So in Airtable, I have a record here that one is not done yet. So this is about Mario finishing one of his levels. So in order to get, let the workflow know that I'm ready for this, we just need to put this in the ready status. And then once it knows that and it has a prompt, then it's going to go ahead and it'll go ahead and check this and then create the video. And that leads me to the next thing about WAN 2.5 is that it's not filtered like Veo 3. You can use the likeness of like of celebrities and people like that that you earn like you know character like fictional characters like Mario or Luigi or somebody like that that you necessarily maybe trademarked or you wouldn't be allowed to make a video of before. So now while it's generating the video, it's going to check the status. If it's processing, okay, then we're going to wait another 30 seconds, check it again, and then basically once it's done, it once it's done and it says it's successful, then it's going to go through the rest of the process, download the file, upload it, and then we can view it. Okay, it finally completed after six pass-throughs. Well, the seventh one, it was completed. We downloaded the file, uploaded it to Google Drive, and now it's successful. So let's go back and look at our Airtable. So you can see it updated it to completed. We got a task ID, and then here is the video URL. So let's go ahead and look at it. Not even close. Okay, 
kind of cool. I gave it a very basic prompt, so the prompt could have really helped out here, but I just wanted to show you how it works. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at Kai AI and how you should use this. You're gonna go to this link because they also have earlier, earlier versions of one, like 2.2. So you're going to go to Kai AI one, two dash five. I'll have this in the link for you. So when you get here, you know, they have uh, image to video and text to video here. They have um, a playground here. They also tell you 20 credits per second for 1080p is 10 cents and 12 credits per it's 12 credits per second for 720p so around six cents um a second okay so what i did was i spent five dollars and you get a thousand credits okay but that's what the api with the playground you can set this for a good you can use it for a good amount before i had even bought anything i was able to use this okay so this gives you a way to kind of like check this out so i would put it in a prompt here you can say we say nine by 16 maybe let's just say 720 you can give it a negative prompts you know whatever that may be and then let's go ahead and run this this is what it would cost like with the api as far as i'm aware so it's gonna take a little bit to process we'll come back but here you know they give you some example videos that you can make um you know this goes through descriptions about what it is but you don't have to worry about the api and all of that because i've already done that for you but while it is running here is where you'd go to the api you basically create a task and then query the task Again, you don't have to worry about this. I've already taken care of all of this for you. So here's my short form video. Okay, I mean, that was just five seconds. We could have done 10 seconds, but this, the, the idea is that this is a playground, right? Actually, I think in, actually, you know what? I take that back. I think in the playground, you're only allowed to do five seconds, but you know, you can try this out for free, right? That's what I really like about this. Okay, so now let's just go a little bit through the workflow on how it's used here. So first off again, in my free school community, what you want to do with Airtable, which by the way, I'm using that you can use it for free. You don't need to pay for this just yet. You're going to use the open Omni. So you would log, you would create a sign in if you have it with Airtable. It's absolutely amazing. I can understand it. It's a little bit to look at right away, but I'm basically going to give you in the community. I'll have what you just paste in here. It's going to create this table. And now what it does is it also creates interfaces, right? So if I kind of close Omni, right, this is my video list of ones that are completed. All right, this is just the information I need. That's the interface is just information that you want, right? You don't need all of the data from the actual table. This is kind of a view, a, a, like a small view of that. So this is everything I, that's completed. These are ones that were in processing ready. Here's all the records. Um, it just gives you basic information about it. Okay, then you like this. There's a status board. You can like kind of get some more information about it. Right here, you can, if there was a, if there was like some errors, you know, you can look at this, maybe one that failed, completed, Here's ones that were completed. It's just some more information that you could use. You don't have to, but it generates all of these for you. Okay, so once you have the table, then what we do in N8N is we're just searching for the latest record, right? It uses a formula. Then here is the API, right? So now for the API, what you need to do is you need to sign in, get an API. You will have to use credits. So it's again, I spent $5 for a thousand credits. And then whenever you, you're going to create a generic credential type. Okay. So whenever you do this, you'll see this here, generic credential type, you'll create a new one and you're going to choose bearer auth. And then your API key, when you do that, you just paste it in there. And then now you're going to use that to whenever you want to call these APIs. And then we just, and then the rest isn't that much. So we update if that was successfully, if it even started the process successfully, then we update a record saying that it's processing. So it's in a processing status. It could be a few minutes, depending on what you're doing. Right. And then if once it's finally successful, then we're going to download the file and then upload and then upload to Google drive just to kind of save it. And then we're also going to basically attach that link to the record itself in Airtable. So there's not a lot of setup. I mean, this took a bit of time really just to get kind of APIs and kind of get this organized a little bit and setting up Airtable and putting it together. But for you, basically, you just need to make sure that you get your API token from Airtable. So you would go into Airtable, go to your account down here. You're going to go to Builder Hub. And then once you go to Builder Hub here, you're just going to create a token, just name it, whatever. Let's just say the one 2.5. You want to add a scope, you want read, write, data.records, read, and data.records, write, and then schema.bases, read. And then you want to add all, oops, you don't add all resources. You want to add a base. So whichever one yours is called, right? So mine would be my first workspace. So everything under there, 
I'm going to create the token and then use that to create your Airtable credential within an ATEM. Some great use cases for this would be marketing and ads, some education and training, social content, of course, integrating other things like 11 Labs, like I mentioned before, for some music entertainment. Not that they can't do the best music, but you know, there are other things that are specialized for like voice and sound effects. So, but the nice thing is you can optionally insert them here so that you know you can make the video generation a lot better and more accurate. And this is probably great. This would be great, you know, working at Chase and being an engineer, a lot of times it would be nice to have like something to be able to show what we're doing. So have some sort of demos. And of course, we don't have, I don't have access to do that, but it would be nice for internal use also at, at a job to be able to create something with this um, so that we can display what we're doing, right? Okay, again, say hi to Ducky here. Just, I don't know if it's a boy or girl still. My daughter is yet not yet named or wants to tell us the gender of the duck. It's just ducky. All of this stuff will be in the description below for my free school community. You just join and then you have all this readily available for you and so that others can use it as well and we can talk about it. Okay, so all of this is great. I believe that in a lot, a lot of ways, this is an upgrade from Veo 3. I think it's some, after also trying out Veo 3, Veo 3 sometimes gives me a little bit more polished look for the video. You know, you still run into a couple of things here. For instance, the, in the beginning, the streetcar racing against his opponent, the Fast and Furious style. Let's play it. Look what happens. You know, I don't want to say Fast and Furious can't do some BS like that, but just, you know, I don't know what Bay of Three would have done that necessarily. Okay, so thank you again for watching. Here are some more videos on other content generation. I'll see you next one.